Okay, and welcome back to, uh, this is episode 3 of the restoration. And as you can see, I've taken the deck off just to make it easier to work on because everything has to come off of it and I've got to do some refinishing and such. So I did it that way, but boy, when you do that, doesn't, don't they look neat? Look at that. And you can bet I'm going to drive it around a little bit like that. I'm going to have to do that before I put the deck back on because look at that. Looks like one of those uh, Skylift helicopters. But also, that's going to make it really easy to work on the, uh, up there, the, uh, the um, idlers for the hydro motors. Because I've got to replace both of them. Oh yeah, and I'll get to that in a moment because all the replacement parts are here and we're going to go through them and look at them. And that's definitely going to be something to look at because they're all shiny and new. But I got I got one of the spindles out. This has been a challenge. I'm hitting everything with the uh, PB blaster. I don't know where the can went, but it's here somewhere. Uh, anyway, all this has to come off. And then, you know, the paint that's on here is that Rust-Oleum uh, hammered finished stuff that you're, it says right on the can, you can spray right on rust. And that lasted pretty good. I know that I am actually, yeah, I was standing in front of the sun and putting it in the shadow. So it doesn't look too bad considering how long it's been out in the rain. But I'm going to have to touch it up a little bit, either with the sandblaster or just a grinding wheel. And then I will probably paint it again with some of that hammered finish stuff that really um, kind of inhibits rust. It does that uh, kind of, uh, I think it does that transformation. And then gives you a good base to paint on. And then I will paint the whole thing. And that's something I keep on forgetting to mention, that the whole thing will be painted. Everything everywhere is coming off and new paint will be going on. So that is coming, but anyway, over here, Okay, we've got the new parts. They're all in this box right here. And that right there is a 98 pound box. It uh, The order came in two boxes, but I just condensed it all into one box. And then I can't uh, even move it. I mean, I can move it, but I can't move it without it falling apart. So it has to stay right there. And of course, we got new hydro oil because uh, we're gonna have to change that uh, wheel motor and so the system's going to have to be drained. But anyway, yeah, let me turn the camera off for a moment and get into this box. Pull a few things out. Okay, and here we go. Uh, okay, so this is going to be... This is the um, hydro filter. Because the system has to be drained. I have to replace the fluid and do the filter. Now in this bag... This is kind of entertaining. The, um, the grommets, not the grommets, but the bushings that are for the uh, front forks um, are actually all the... Uh, all the bushings for everything on the whole mower there we go, are exactly the same. And uh, I figure at this point every single bushing on the whole thing has to be uh, replace so this is like the uh, the big main idler arm bushings the thrust arms the front forks the um, something else somewhere anyway there ended up being 12 of them so we got um, actually 14 of them all in their individual bags other than that we got some Oh, there was a different thing in here somewhere. So this is... Okay, sorry, this is... Just bushings. Okay. Uh, here we got new... Um, new positive cable for the battery. And, okay, so these are the flat washers... <laughs> flat washers. Flat idlers for the um, hydros. Uh, hydro motors up there. There's two of them. And, uh, boy, you know, I should start this up so you can hear that. You probably heard it when uh, I do that. Start this 
So that sound that sounds like uh, bad bearing, that is, that's the flat idlers under, underneath these uh, pumps. The, um, the bearings in those idlers have gone, so I have to replace both of those. So let's go back in here. So I have two of these. One, two. Okay, now. Okay, and this is the oil filter for the engine. And then this right here, this I need to explain, so I'm gonna turn off the camera and go get a part. Okay, so what we have here is old hub and new hub for the uh, rear wheels. And uh, if you remember, on the last episode I was explaining the Kiwi's all, the Kiwi, Kiwi, Kiwi is all chewed up in there, which is part of the problem, and I'll get to that in a moment. But something else that happens on these, this part actually failed on the other side years ago, and I had to replace it. And what had happened, and you can see it starting on this one, hairline crack started right there on that weld, and the whole thing came loose. So it's like two pieces. You got this piece and this piece, and they're welded together, and that came loose years ago, and yeah, the whole thing came apart, so that was a disaster. But you see on the redesign part, the aftermarket part, see how thick that one is? Look how thick that one is. And it's a single cast part. See there? No weld. So it's solid as a rock, and that happens a lot. Aftermarket parts are usually better than the originals. If you're thinking that the uh, clearance is different on these, it's actually not, it's just set up a different way. It does work. This is exactly the same part I put on the other side. And so now the two rear hubs will be really solid. Uh, but, you know, had to fix that keyway problem. And that's why we got a new wheel motor. And that's in the box too. Let's go back to the box. Okay, so over here, probably noticed those already. Oh, listen to the sound these things make too. Okay, right here. See that? What note is that? But anyway, these are the front forks. And same old problem that always happens on mine. These are all, all out of round. They're all gouged and messed up. So even if you put fresh bushings in, it's, it's going to ride. The whole thing is ride, riding cocked. And so even putting new bushings in, and it has new bushings in, um, it rides like that. And this will fix that. So we got two of those. Let me get those out of there. They both are producing exactly the same note. And here is the, that's the wheel motor. So let's do that one next. I'm gonna pull that out. Okay, and so this is the way they ship. They give you a new castle nut, and then this spacer, and then a brand new woodruff key. And as you can see, oh, am I going to be able to do this one-handed? Yes, I am, because I'm going to have to do this like that. Okay. And there we go, I should go around to the other side. There, might be able to see it. Okay, there we go. 
so this goes this way and I hope we're going to be able to see that line up right there oh yeah yeah nice no play so I am going to have a very solid rear wheel motor set up now and so all that gouging on the on this old on the old shaft and in here is a thing of the past it's all gonna be fixed and brand new boy doesn't that look nice Awesome. Okay, back to the box. Okay, what else do we got in here? We got a brand new, this is a blade belt. I actually, looking through my spare parts, I have a spare uh, hydro belt, so I didn't have to get one of those. Um, but uh, definitely need a new blade belt, so we got that. And now the rear, these are not rear, these are the front tires. And these, you'll be able to tell, by the way, I can't pick them up in one hand. These weigh a whole bunch. <laughs> and the reason why is these are solid tires. These are um, no air tires. Uh, just like I have on the Cheetah. And something you may not know is that the Cheetah's front tires are actually full of holes because I've gone over so many thorns and nails and stuff. And that is an ongoing problem with this mower as well. It's got some plugs in the front and it's going to keep happening so um, I'm replacing the front wheels and tires with these solid ones boy they do weigh a lot let me get these out of here I'll be right back okay I'm not even pulling that other one out but over here we've got the two brand new giant um, idlers those are the ones Ooh. right there. They both have issues, but now they're going to be brand new. Pretty, huh? Look at that. almost hate to use it. Anyway, okay, uh, before I get to those spindles, uh, I got a new PTO switch. Oh yeah, let me show you that over here look at it it actually does still work but <laughs> look at it it's not going to work very long I can just it's seen too much Sun that's for sure I feel one of these times when I pull it up it's gonna come just apart in my hand so that's the reason just uh, age and Sun damage but we'll have a brand new one of those on there and okay so for the spindles let me grab this spindle that I pulled off of there Let's see how well we're gonna be able to see in here okay nope I want to go to where I was before I'll be right back okay so there they are three brand new spindle assemblies all ready to go new bearings new everything and here's something new Grease fitting. The original ones were advertising that they were greaseless, which means they're going to blow. And so the old hubs don't have don't have grease fittings at all. Now I know I could drill holes, and I did on my other mower. Uh, didn't have them either, so I drilled holes and put grease fittings on and filled them up with grease. But I never got around to this one. And you're probably wondering why do I not just rebuild these? And you probably see it already because uh, you know much cheaper to just rebuild them well it's because the hubs themselves are going look at this I needed new hubs this is just water damage and I'll go over the to the deck and show you how this happens this is just too much water and grass sitting on the deck but honestly if it rains you can't really even get the water off of there so 
there's a chance of this happening again, so um, I'm going to end up having to paint at least the tops of these with some really, really tough paint. Uh, and I'll show you why. Let's go over to the deck. Okay, you can see it, you see it pretty good on that one. You see there, so they have these rings here. So they have the deck, and then they, they weld these rings on here, and it's like double strong. But what that does is it creates this gap in between the deck and the uh, hub. And so it's a, it's a channel. It's, it holds water. And, um, of course, grass and stuff gets in there, too, and so wet grass gets in there and stays in there, and if you don't remember to blow it out, it will start to rust and decompose your deck. And uh, all, three pen all three spindles that happen, too, some of them are much worse than the others. Look at the other side of this one. I don't know if it's going to... Just horribly um, gouged in there. So that is why I replaced the entire spindle assemblies. I think it was a good call. And otherwise, I believe that was everything in the box. I think. Let me go look. Uh, yeah, everything's in the box. You can see the box is falling apart there. So I will continue working on this. Uh, the next step, of course, is going to be some type of light sandblasting in some areas on this deck. First pull everything off and uh, sandblast it. I've done this before, and that's actually how it got to the point where it is. I pulled everything off and uh, sandblasted it and put this paint on there about ooh, five years ago, I think. Uh, I think. But anyway, it's coming right along, and then I will work on this, uh, which is really just going to be a matter of just cleaning and light scuffing and then repainting. Uh, yeah, for anybody that's not following along, this is the old wheel motor disaster, where the shaft is all gouged and messed up, so the keyway's not going to work. That key that's stuck in there is stripped clean off there. It's not actually making a... It's not actually going to engage anything. So, as far as I know, and now I'm going to save this wheel motor, but as far as I know, you can't buy just a shaft. Um, but, you know, keep my ears open because it definitely, it still works. It just won't engage anything because uh, of that keyway situation. But anyway, <laughs> It's going to be a kind of a neat off-road vehicle here. Uh, going to have to drive it around a yard at least once with no deck. But that's where I am on it. I appreciate everybody watching. I know I never come on camera. Let's see here. It is a super sunny day. It is 80 today. I can't even see. I can't see the display. I don't know if I'm looking at anything. But, um, yep, yeah, that's episode 3. Stay tuned for episode 4. Um, I don't know, in about a week, I guess. But thanks for watching, everybody, and see you later.